What's up, YouTube? Today, we're looking at a Queen City Knife. <coughs> it actually came in uh, this packaging, which somehow... You know, I, I get it, though. Like, sometimes the packaging does get a little mangled in storage. Um, it's just that... I feel like at one point this packaging looked really good. And then... I don't know what happened to it. Anyway. This is a... Uh, to me, this, this pattern shape looks a lot like a Stockman. Um, but before I got this, I thought that this was a solid color. Solid is, and there is no variation, but there actually is quite a bit of variation. It appears this is dyed white bone. Um, I do like it a lot. This is, I think, a bomb shield. If this stays consistent with the other knives that I own from Queen City, this is 1095 carbon steel. Uh, this has one spring in the back, which is why I picked it up. There is a little bit of gapping, um, I think right around this area. I don't know if it'll pop up on camera. The main blade has a half stop. And then this is the secondary with no half stop. I don't believe that this is pinchable. Um, yeah, I don't think I can. But it doesn't take... It's not a fingernail breaker by any means. It doesn't take a lot to open it. Really fantastic piece. I am extremely happy with this piece. Uh, I ended up paying... Uh, this is mid-2022. Um, first day of August. I ended up paying, I think, 130 when tax and shipping was all figured in. Um, the guy that sold it to me, I believe he sold it to me for like a buck 13 and that me $113, that means that he got precisely, uh, less than a hundred dollars or so. Um, cause that's how the cookie crumbles on eBay. You can see there's a little bit of blade rub. It's probably from when I open it. Not really concerned about this because I do plan on keeping this. Uh, it's a really, really nice piece. The single spring is really kind of what sold it for me because everything else got me up to the line. Um, even though the, the die job's a little off, I kind of like it. And uh, yeah, I mean, it reminded me of that uh, Caribbean bone or Caribbean bone, the blue Caribbean bone that Rough Rider does, except that instead of like being on a knife that I don't want to own, Although they're saw, they, I think it's the bonus uh, saw cut, and it looks nice. But this piece, yeah, you can see that gap a lot better that it's closed. Um, this piece is just a great piece, and I wanted it. I'll probably end up carrying it and using it. Maybe not though. I'm back and forth on that. Uh, super nice like this is really really great the shield is done well it's in there very nicely probably not penned but it is what it is let's do some measurements all right so We've got, well, the handle, let's just do the handle first. Four and a quarter, and then we have a blade that is total three and three quarters about, and then the cutting edge is about two and um, two and seven eighths, I think. Very nice. This is a great piece. This is the kind of stuff that I keep my eye open for when, um, like in general, but like GEC isn't always a sure thing. Uh, they got their cattle knife coming up and it's right now ringing in a little expensive where I usually get knives. So I'm going to be waiting to hopefully snag it on a drop from another place. Um, we'll see if that happens. Anyway, that's about all she wrote for this one. Thanks for tuning in.
and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye now.